Yep. I think we're going to keep one of those to use in our next squad, and then we'll sell the other one. And... Sleeves Galgoog. I didn't consider them having them, but it makes sense. We might just go with the high mobility type, even though we're about to capture some. Which apparently these things can turn into Galbaldi A's. And then... That's a Jaeger. I don't know about that one, though. Or a ground Galgoog, which... I don't know what that is, but it looks like it has a scythe, so I'm interested in it. Um, Grand Zeong. Is there any attack on you we haven't seen? Eh, why not? Worst comes to worst, it doesn't kill him, and we had the Sazbi finish him off. Yeah, eh, figures as much. Do you... Do you Mew size have anything in you? Ooh, Zaku's. As dumb as those are, we can use those. We can... We can lock onto our own guy. Alright, so... Uh. Eh, still got vigor for it. Hey, does that mean we can use kick? Oh, we have to have super high. Damn. Well, there goes my phone. Yeah, we're one spot away. Let's see, with you guys... Oh. Oops. We don't really need to use the Nero anymore, though, since we already got it up there. We get the G3 and the Nero, ne or the Gundam S next time, and then we just gotta get this up into level 5. See what that turns into. I forgot which one I really liked, but there's one of the, uh, one of the Hazels that I thought looked really cool. I also need to get rid of that G5. Oh, and you're out of energy. Well. See, that's the weakness to the Tsazabi. Like, we kill so many things, we forget we need to charge these things. Oh, well. We forgot to bring the batteries, so we'll have to go out to the store and buy some more. It's really hoping they would, you know, eject those Zakus so we could capture them. That reminds me. Yep, I know. Three turns. Or four more turns. wonder what happens if we kill them all before that. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's just annoying more than anything, but whatever. You don't have anything in you, so killing you is not important. Oh, okay, we don't actually have to defend the GPO 4 or the Gundam 4, so, you know, fuck it. Ignored. Yeah, pack up your toys and let's go. Let's see, you, you get to use... Well, you know what? I'll show you guys that one. It probably looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is going to be two episodes. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> oh. It's exactly what I thought it would be. 
Damn. Here I was hoping for something really cool. Hey, maybe if I go... If I go standard characters, because they're better, I could stick Sima as our secondary commander. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? And you can only turn into the Hazel Custom, so we don't care about you. Alright, Sazabi. Do we have any energy charge abilities? Quick motion. Energy charge. Sadly, you can't use those on subflight systems, however. So, you know, even though subflight systems don't have energy, we're fucked if we ever need to charge one. They don't have attacks. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to close into here. We're going to beam rifle, because that's the sweet spot on a gal- or a gal- Dom? Dom. Yeah, not Galdug. What am I smoking? Two spots away, they can't hit us back. Even though they could dodge better, I don't think they would. Yay, we got to level 7 on the Sazabi. Woo. We're about to put it away after we kick a thing. I just want to see it kick. You know, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting more. I'll be honest with you. Like, that's like that that other Zaku that we had, the Zaku we had earlier's kick. It's the same exact kick. Like, it's even the same animation. Yeah, you know what, we... We're actually going to go have everyone retreat and get some more energy. I know we wasted energy charge, but oh well. You know what? Shit, I was hoping not to kill it. Oh well, it's uh, those three Zaku's in them. Yeah, that's what grinding for later is for. We will, however, capture this one. See, you guys are all kind of fucked up as well. Well. Beforehand, though. I hope you guys can hear my chair. It is really squeaky now. I don't know why. I just decided while I'm recording to be squeaky. And I bet as soon as it's over, I won't. Or, as soon as it's over, it'll stop squeaking. Also, I get it. I don't know who you people are, and I'm probably going to replace you for people I also don't know who they are. You're new, and I don't like you. All I wanted in this game was Luna Sheen, and she's not here. So I'm instantly sad. Favorite character from Spirits. Like, I just adore her voice actress. She's like the most adorable person ever. Though I don't think she's done anything in like five years. Ship battle!
Final battle. So the bra bow is a new type mobile or is a pseudo new type uh, mobile armor. It has three seats for it to be piloted. It's originally piloted by three generic, well, two generic lackeys and Simis, who's my favorite person to make fun of because he, he slash she is useless. I think it's a girl, but I could be wrong. Anyway. So, what the other two, the main person moves the mobile suit, the other two control the bits that appear, or that fly around it. Shay, do those guys have mobile suits? I mean, like, you're just throwing them into the grinder at this point, mate. Yeah, boy. Thanks. You know, I don't feel bad about killing those guys now. No, we can't reach the Bravo with the Gion. I would want to see Hide Bomb if we can get away with it, but if we can't, we can't. Like, I'm not going to freak out that much about it. Probably all it is is he ejects the bombs from the shield. No, oh, and we didn't even kill him. Well, snipe. And we're gonna eject you guys over to here. Um, you definitely. And you for the lulls, I guess. You know, let's get everyone out, but we'll only attack with those three. Or those two. So I'm pretty sure we can kill it in one turn, yeah. Most likely. Also, I need to move you forward so you don't get flanked by the Zakus we don't care about. Oh. That is one thing we could do. Yeah, he's really dodge worthy. Well, the Sazabi and the Galgook retreat back to get some more energy. Because, well, you don't really need it. But you need it real bad. Yeah, you guys are fine. Um. You, yeah, we had you already there. Alright. And then you. We're about to get the regelg. So that's cool. Yeah. We'll send the perfect Zeon, or the grand Zeong back to go take out these guys. He'll be able to do it in like one turn. Getting him back from there will be annoying, but oh well. We don't need to get the experience with the Nero, so that's fine. Yeah, boy. I forgot about that, but that's, you know, good for me. They might not be worth much experience, but they're worth like 3,000 credits. Which I mean, like, that's almost 10,000. That's like a GM. And now all we got to do is steal them. Yep, three turns. Oh, two turns. You know, you could always fire and then eject. 
set up on a delay timer. You know, the Gundam can do that. I don't see why the GPF-4 couldn't. I guess if you had to retarget kind of thing. Ooh la la. Oh, hey, more doms. I really hope we get to kill all these people, because all they're doing right now is throwing shit at us. Yeah, we'll clear that up real easy. Um, you... You get to go beam machine gun, the hazel with the beam rifle, and hmm, hopefully it's enough. Who knows? Yeah, it's enough. I'm pretty sure the stage is going to be over in two turns. Let's see, we're gonna move you forward. You're gonna finalize, you're gonna not disperse. You're gonna capture, you're gonna capture, you're gonna capture. Then I guess everyone's gonna go forward and kill these doms. Damn it, don't dodge. You're not allowed to dodge. Only Piccolo is allowed to dodge. And occasionally Gohan when he says dodge. I know how it works. I read the manual. Well, let's do this the smart way. Let's go send out the slowest guy first, who is the Gelgu. Then send out the strongest guy first, who is the Sazabi. Then we'll send the other two out to right there, because we can. Then send the other slowest guy. Might actually be slower than the Gelgoog even. Move you up to there. And we got that all done. Smart move. He can't hit back. Ooh, real smart move. He can, though. Yay! Yeah, we can get the Regelg if we wanted. The Regelg was a rebuilt Galgoog from Double Zeta, piloted by... I can't remember her name, but she has pink hair. That's how I remember who it is. Oh, and she's also the character wearing glass clothes in the Char is soon, which made her interesting as a 13-year-old. No, it has 11, I think, when that came out. Oh, no. Not when it came out, but when I watched it in the States. It was back when, like, anime wasn't really a thing, and you had to go, like, to the deep internet to get fan subs. And they're always really bad. Like, real bad. Yeah, we got one more turn, so... Hopefully we can kill all of these guys. Oh, they're all high. Sp uh, they're all high speed because they all have bazookas. And I guess we'll send out the Sazabi there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm One turn left.
I really wish there was a quest like, you know, take out all the enemies before the cannon fires. But there probably isn't. We don't know, though, since we can't tell. But it'd be cool if there was. So yeah, we're just taking out the bottom three so that we can move up to get closer to the Zanzibar next turn. Oops. Yeah, hopefully the Zaku will go after him instead of the Thoroughbred. But I doubt it. Like, I don't care if he gets hit, because he'll kill him, and then he can go clean this Dom up as well. Um, you can move towards the center. This is the last turn anyway, and I'm pretty sure it's going to end after this, so I'm not really worried about killing anyone else that I don't have to. Though I will try to get more experience with the Galgoog. It means training later will be easier. Then I think... In the next, when we start up the next campaign, I'll upgrade that to the Nightingale. And. Sway, that's a free dodge. That's actually pretty useful. I like that ability. He says Abby. Nah, you can't re you can barely just not reach it. Oh well. And for you guys, can you reach? You cannot. Well, We want him to shoot back in this one. Just hoping we get something cooler than, hey, I come up, I slash you, I fly away. Oh well. I don't think you can reach, can you? No, you can't. Just barely. You have 1361 or whatever. Whoops. Yay, we killed it. I didn't think we were going to be able to. Yeah, that was its last move. <gasps> Alright, I know what we're getting now. Holy shit. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's what I wanted, damn it. <sighs> it's like my third or fourth favorite suit. Uh, we can get one, though. That's so cool. I knew that was in the game because somebody spoiled it for me for a while ago, but... Like, I want it now so bad. Yeah, that'll be that one unit we just keep through the whole game because I never want to use anything different. 
Or at least till we get a normal bow. I hope we get to kill these guys after it's over, but I don't think so. So then we can capture some more Zakus. And then with them, Zakus will take over the world. Or should we call them Bajornians? You know, named after the the god emperor of Louisiana, or Louisian. Because, you know, he has nine wives and, like, 30 kids. The 13th being Lily, who's the semi-main antagonist for a while, but then the main char or the main good guy becomes evil. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't mean Loran, or Roland, or whatever the hell you want to call him. He never went evil, but he was never the main character anyway. He was a protagonist, but that's about it. Yep. Now eject. Like now. Well, see, there's this handle on the side of your piloting, uh, of the chair you're in. Pull that, it shoots the whole back of it out, actually. Doesn't matter if the, if the hatch is broken, it blows off. Yeah, okay. Took a little while to load there, but I figured as much. I'm starting to figure this game out. Mm-hmm. Hey, we can use them now if we wanted. And real quick. Oh. That explains a lot. Alrighty then, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, you should like. If you didn't, you should dislike. We'll be back tomorrow with... Dat Face Yo. Good night.